Hi, so I'm Andrea, and I started a soap company called Local Brew Soap Company. And um, so what I do is I make uh, translucent soap out of beer. Um, so I, uh, I got started because, um, I don't know, I was, I was trying, I'm trying to find a way to quit my regular accounting job. It's draining. And, uh... So I've, I've made soap a couple times just for friends. I made like a cold processed coffee soap and I made one that smells like cloves and it's lovely. And people are like, oh, you should go into business. You should make soap. And I was like, mm, maybe. Um, but then looking around, there's, there's a ton of people that make really beautiful soaps with really beautiful ingredients. And, and they sell them all for seven bucks a piece. And I'm like, that is not profit margin in there enough for me to quit my job with it. I don't want to make cheap soap. I want to make cool soap. And uh, anyway, so like I started looking at the beer soap, and I'm like, oh yeah, beer soap, and I could use like you know little local breweries around here because there's 400 of them in Colorado. It's like so, I'll, I'll get some local beers, and I'll make local beer soap. And uh, but it turns out that beer soap, if you make cold processed beer soap, it it smells nothing like beer. It looks nothing like beer. The fact that there's beer in it is just like an ingredient uh, makes your skin feel good when you wash with it. Like that's that's I want I want beer beer soap, and um, and I also kind of want it to look like the beer. I want it. I want, I like clear soaps. I like translucent soaps. I like the glycerin soaps, and uh, and so I was like I'm gonna make beer soap, but I'm gonna make it translucent beer soap. I'm gonna make it look like a like beer, and uh, so I started looking up how to make clear soaps, and it's so hard, uh, I have like 12 ingredients, you gotta buy a bunch of crap, uh, you know, propylene glycol, that's made out of petroleum, so yeah, yay, you know, I, I don't want to make, I don't want to make soap with a bunch of garbage in it, um, I don't, I don't, I mean, you can make soap out of motor oil, I don't want to wash with it, um, so, uh, I kept looking, kept looking, kept looking, and, um, my God, you know, I found uh, Soaping 101, she's awesome, she made a translucent uh, soap with um, Everclear, and I was like, ooh, and then I found out there's uh, Mystic Mountain in Larkspur, Colorado, and they make 190 proof grain alcohol, it's called 420 Extractor, it's out in Colorado, we're cool, um, and, uh, and then I ended up, one night, I stumbled on a video, and it showed um, uh, a clear soap, and, um, but it, it was not in English, and so I'm like, eh, screw it, I'm gonna watch this, and they made translucent soap from scratch with, like, four ingredients, and I said, hallelujah, they are in Portuguese, I don't, I don't know Portuguese, I don't know anybody who knows Portuguese, and so I watched it again, and I used Google Translator, and I watched it again, and watched uh somebody else because once you watch one of the videos you know it pops up oh similar to this and so i watched there's like five or six different um people down in in brazil making this clear soap and uh so i i wrote down all the parts of the recipe i could figure out and i figured out ratios and i figured out you know because they're also they're mostly using um beef fat to make you know tallow to make their soap and i was like oh i'm gonna make some vegan soap but i want few ingredient vegan clear soap that smells a bit and looks a bit like a beer and I, it took me 15 tries I translated 30 videos maybe I uh, yeah and and wrote down the ratios and this is my recipe so I have a recipe and it's really pretty and I'll show you some